We're back. That's right. Berserk is back. Berserk 2016, 2017, season two, whatever the hell you want to call it. Back up in here. And we already know the drill. The animation didn't get any better. It's still fucking horrible. So if anybody's still making videos right now saying, oh, Berserk is horrible. Berserk the animation, blah, blah, blah. Wow, I watch this shit. People are supposed to be so-called Berserk fans. They're just making videos to get views. At least I'm honest. I know the animation is horrible, but I'm still going to cover it because I love Berserk. But we're not here to talk about that. We're talking about Berserk being back, so let's get down to that. That's right. We back in here. Berserk hype. Guts hype. Berserk armor hype. Hit us with two episodes. Episode 13 and 14 on Friday, so they must really want to get this out of the way. And we're also hit with the new opening automatically, which... I don't know. I think I kind of like the old opening a little bit better. And this is good too. And the animation in that was very good. Just like before. Going back to everyone's wish that it could just be 2D just like that. But we got some things in the opening. You know, again, we got that Berserk armor. Seeing it in action. We got Griffith back in the opening. We got the new Band of the Hawk opening. This is going to be one hell of a ride. I cannot wait to get into it. So Gus is going back to visit Godo and finds out from Erica that he has passed away. Which sucks because life just keeps getting worse worse and worse for Guts, but Erica says that at the very least, Godo said that he was happy that he got to see Guts again before he passed away, and he was met by an unexpected visitor. Um, Erica said that it was somebody here that was so beautiful that she thought it was a woman, so of course, we got Griffith here talking with Rickard, and it's like, oh my god, the anger level of Guts was to a whole new level seeing Griffith right in front of him again, and remember, Rickard doesn't know what happened in the Eclipse. Guts never told him about that. And Griffith is there like, hey, Rickard, how's it going? Why don't you come join me? Remember our dream? And Gus is like, what the fuck are you doing here? This is bullshit. So the anger there, the tension was still there. And this is what I'm saying. Despite the animation, it's still berserk. That story is still there. It's very strong. Because Griffith was like, the only reason I came here was just to make sure that I didn't feel anything. That this side of me was gone. This is why I'm here at this sacred burial ground of the Band of the Hawk. Just to make sure I wasn't human anymore. Yeah, he's still a scum. And Guts was ready to go in. He was ready to tear this guy apart. Rickard can't find out what he was. He was like, Guts, this is Griffith. Are you glad to see him? So, that part was very tense, and you know Casca. Casca is brain dead, for lack of better word to describe it. So, she was in awe when she saw Griffin trying to touch his face and everything. And this might sound a little bit bad, but I think deep down, Casca is okay with what Griffith did to her. Maybe the rest of the demons know that was crazy. But what Griffith did to her, I kind of feel that she was okay with it because deep down is what she always wanted anyway. And Berserk is twisted enough to actually go there. So yeah, there's that. But the best part of the episode was definitely the battle between Guts and Zod in human form. And carrying that big old sword around, Zod was like, Good job, boy. You have done very well. You took this evil that happened to you in this eclipse and got stronger. I'm impressed. So impressed. I'm about to get real. He went to demon mode, full demon mode on Guts. He tore down that little tunnel that was behind him and everything. And remember, that tunnel was like an elven tunnel. So that was the only thing that was keeping the demons away from Casca. And that's why she was there in the safe house. And I feel like they kind of glossed over some big things in here. So there's still some pacing issues with the series as well because... But I don't remember them actually mentioning that this was kind of a sanctuary for Casca, or if that was the best place for her to be. And if it is, please correct me. But also, they just kind of glossed over Rickard learning about the Eclipse too. He just, they actually cut to another scene. It didn't show Guts telling them about it or anything. And then he was like, so this is what Griffith did? And while he was going away, of course, he took that last second to still be a jackass and say, you may hate me after what you find out about this, Rickard, but if you still want this dream, then come with me, find me, follow me. So, uh, Griffith still being the scum lord of the series. Guts still wants the terrorist thrown out. And Kentaro's writing is just too good to let the animation destroy the series entirely. Because that tension is still there. And the heat that we know from Berserk is still there. And I'm glad that we got to see it at least in the very first episode, to remind us why we like this series so much. And this series also makes sure that you know that Gus is the most tragic person in almost any medium. I mean, think about it. This person whose mind has been broken in Casca still, for some part, has some type of feeling for a monster that destroyed her life, destroyed his life. 
Rickards, you know, Rickards like, hey, it's Griffith, everybody rejoice. And he's kind of looking at everybody like, what the hell is wrong with you people? So they're still that as well. And overall, it was a fine episode. It was definitely a way for it to come back again. It was some shortcomings there with, um, you know, them glossing over some really big parts in the story. As far as spreading things out, doing a little bit more explanation, the fight was very good. The fight between Griff, I mean, Guts and Zod was very good, even though the animation we already know wasn't there. But even with bad animation, it was still a pretty badass fight, especially to see how much Guts have grown from all this time that he's been through the eclipse and everything. Because remember, him and Griffith couldn't hold a candle to Zod the first time they met him. And for now him to even remotely be standing up to Zod in full demon mode, that was awesome. And also the music was still there too. That music is still awesome. That's one of the bright points of this series was the music itself. Because when the music was going between Guts, Griffith, and Rickard, when they were um, talking about what's going on and the dream and the aspirations and him hating Griffith and all that, the music just hit all the great emotional points. So... Griffith's new plan is basically to start back where he left off. He's back. He's um, going to save that village or that kingdom from the Kushan and get the presses back. And even though he's a monster, he's about to paint himself as a hero and still end up getting his kingdom. And that's where the episode leaves off. So, a fine return for Berserk. I enjoyed it overall. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's, there's not a shortage of content if you guys indulge on, on this channel. I'm glad Berserk is back. I'm glad we're going to see the Berserk armor finally animated. There's some things in the opening that um, is getting me excited. It looks like we're finally going to get some time with Shurike. Of course, you know the band is going to get back together with, you know, um, Farnese and Serpico and all that, which comes up in the next episode. Isidro is back. Everybody is back, and it looks like Gus is finally growing the team to go against this new band of the Hawk that Griffith is building. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys for joining me. As I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. Just chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that. So thanks for stopping by. On that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.